What is Gucci YouTube? It's your boy Black and she got three long face skinny body. We are back still black with some more fire Boruto manga related content. Now before we end the video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, smash that like button. Share the video with your friends and word on the street is, you know what I'm saying? When you share the video with your friends, you gotta let them know that, you know what I'm saying? They saying you a bum if you're not watching Black and she got videos. So let's not associate ourselves with some bums, right? And do the right thing. But let's hop into the business Boruto 2 Blue Vortex Chapter 3. Going crazy. Yes, sir. Ski. Even though we have a short list of options, only three chapters to choose from. I can probably say it's between one or three, but I'm leaning more towards three. The best chapter today of Boruto 2 Blue Vortex, hands down, definitely chapter three. It's a lot of crazy stuff that went down, right? And I didn't go over the spoilers. Those of y'all who watch my spoiler videos, I had three untranslated no context pictures and it was the pictures of boruto facing off with cold uh just before things started getting crazy so i didn't really have much of anything prior to going into the chapter and let me let y'all know like right now i'm first of all i'm grateful that the spoilers only came out two days before the chapter dropped because that was the longest two days of my life i'm not gonna lie to y'all trying to be careful and you know what i'm saying treading carefully where i'm scrolling with youtube and where i'm scrolling on twitter and stuff like that normally when they drop a week before people who avoid spoilers i don't know how you do it like that's a whole nother talent on its own bro all i had to do was two days and i almost gave up on day one <laughs> i'm gonna let y'all know I was, I was like you know what i was, I was this cool i'm like forget it bro let me just look at some more but i was like you know what i held off like a g because i'm like if i look at the spoilers i'm obligated to drop another video and i ain't gonna be on that type of time but next month man we're going back to the regular schedule soon as spoilers drop i'm gonna be on top of it you ain't no dropping it what are you talking about but bro boruto 2 blue vortex chapter 3 man let's, let's talk about some highlighted things right First of all, big Uzumaki vibe. Stop playing with my son. Stop playing with the young lord. Uzumaki motherfucking Boruto. You know what I'm saying? Stop playing with him. Number one highlight. Number two highlight. Sasuke really might be that tree, right? They got Sarada investigating things. And it's like, it's it's, it's it's tying it together. Because why does Sarada, you know, Sasuke's daughter have to be the one to figure out some of these intricacies in terms of the, you know, unfully developed uh, processes or transformations that these claw guns are going towards. Sarada's the one putting the pieces of the puzzle together. Like, you know what I'm saying? These are incomplete, you know, uh, the divine tree or aka the tentails is supposed to consume otosuke in order to spread the divine tree so she's putting two and two together with the other tuning over there and they like so you're saying these are like pseudo divine trees or you know what i'm saying corrupted or or not basically fully developed divine trees because they're basically sprouting from regular humans as opposed to otosuke and sarada isn't able to say for sure but what she can say for sure is that these people who are absorbed by the trees are still alive so shout out to my guy you know what i'm saying the henny god bug because he's I, he got too faded he, he he done passed out messed around you know what i'm saying probably got into a little one two one two with a car gun dude was talking crazy bug tried to smash the glass over his head dude was like bet tree tree jutsu tree no jutsu what are you talking about and now we see bug out here but yo aside from all of those things aside from all of those things right the the the, the main one the, the biggest one right the biggest one is my guy kashin mother fucking koji bro kashin koji you already know kashin koji my my favorite boruto characters are sarada number one hands down bigotry have vibes always any day every day big uzu motherfucking maki boruto and kashin fucking koji bro i'm sorry for the explicit language but let, let's get this straight kashin koji is my dog hands down the best fight in the manga manga mind you manga because i i'm not too picky so you you don't really see me complaining about how they did it in the anime but hands down kashin koji versus jigen and ishiki is the greatest fight in the boruto naruto next generation i was that was the most hype i've ever been while reading a fight while reading the pages out yes i was more hype reading uh kashin koji versus jigen than i was reading um Naruto and Sasuke versus Jigen. I was more hyped reading Kasha Koji versus Jigen than I was reading Bariyama. I was more hyped when 
Akash and Koji, you know what I'm saying, popped out Sage Mode and a big ball Rasengan versus Boruto actually getting impaled, pause, and, and, and having a hole through his chest. Like, that was my favorite chapter. Kash and Koji is one of my favorite. I like Kash and Koji more than I like Jiraiya. Like, that's saying, Jiraiya isn't even in my top... Jiraiya is like top definitely he's he's one of my favorite but he's not he's not top five in my in my Naruto characters Kash and Koji is like, like that's my dog bro I rocks with him heavy so the way that Boruto's like hey that, that no wonder I like Boruto so much dude's getting taught by everybody I fuck with you know what I'm saying he's getting taught by Sasuke he's getting taught allegedly we can't forget the thought allegedly because you know what I'm saying I don't want Kash and Koji to beat these allegations I hope he is the one actually training Boruto but he's getting taught by, he's getting taught by all my favorite people right so what are the odds that Kashi Koji is going to make a grandioso return? I ain't going to lie. I was thinking about all of the intricate ways that they can return Kashi Koji into the manga. And this would be one of the most fire ways to do so. But let's talk about the bum code. Let's talk about the goat Boruto. Because most of their encounter was here in this chapter. And something that really ticked me off, right? This guy Kawaki. Mind you, the controversy he brings is amazing. But you're so, it's like he's even worse than code because he pulls up. And you know, it's like when you know something and other people don't, it's so annoying because it's like, bro, you acting like you know everything. Like, shut up. Kawaki's pulling up on some real, like, gripey, like, bro, this isn't no beef thing. Like, Boruto's out here trying to do some real life, save the ninja world actions, and you out here being annoying. He almost messed up everything because Boruto was leading Code to believe, like, yeah, bro, you finna die right here. All, all time, you know what I'm saying? Boruto was gonna let Code escape because he needed to track Code to where the Ten Tails was. Kawaki almost messed that up. So I know K Kawaki pulled up. Boruto's like, yo, chill out, Kawaki, don't mess with Code. And, and you know what I'm saying, Cole took that opportunity when Kawaki was out here talking big trash, you know what I'm saying, to go ahead and escape through a clog on. And Kawaki, at the end of the day, even though it looks like he messed up, he ultimately helped Boruto in that situation, even though initially he should have never even interrupted the conversation in the first place. But we got Boruto facing off against Kawaki. Boruto really manhandled Cole. Now, Boruto's complete. We're going to talk about that in a whole nother video. Like, Boruto is that guy. He, no karma seal activated at all, bro. No, no nothing. That Uzi Hiko was doing damage, severe damage, and it's OP, broken, busted. And y'all never heard me say anything upon the nature when it comes to Boruto that I'm about to say right now. Y'all heard me talk about how much I rocks with him, how much I think he's overpowered, how strong I think he possibly is in regards to the people that's relevant to him. Right now, Boruto is stronger than Baryon Naruto. He's stronger than Ishiki. The fact that we didn't see a Jogan or a Karma Cell lets you know, and he's doing this against a Karma up code, bro, knocked him out of his Karma Seal, bro. That's like when Jigen need Naruto out of KCM 6 pass mode, bro. Like, is, is it, he just just crouched right in front of him, giving him ultimatums like, bro, like ten tails or die. Like, what you want to do? Because I know what I want to do. I want to see the ten tails, but I can also like release the jutsu. I can relinquish the jutsu if that's what you really want. Talk to me, Cole. For me, like, shout out to Boruto. Since I since I'm real, I'm gonna let y'all know I am I am biased a lot of the times when it comes to my Uchi house. But I'm gonna I'm gonna let y'all know. Yeah, I started off with since I'm real because like if Boruto keep this up, I ain't gonna hold you. It's he's gonna have a ways to go, but he might become my favorite character over Sarada. But you know what I'm saying? It's always big Uchi house vibes forever. And and ever and ever anyways moving past that boruto completely manhandling code everything like we're gonna have to address that but this guy kawaki has the audacity not only to mess up everything he just comes off as like bro can you think for a second what would boruto actually be talking to code about why is code drained and boruto looks completely fine when they're confronting each other you don't question none of these things you just see boruto like all right bet it's time for you to die boruto like you don't even consider the help that boruto can provide you don't consider the fact that okay he still has his consciousness has momoshiki popped up within the last three years because the whole reason you want to kill the man is because of momoshiki himself so so what's going on here with kawaii i think he's really becoming blinded into his whole entire purpose of killing boruto which was to protect naruto not actually killing boruto himself because if boruto is intact if boruto is doing things for the better of the ninja world what is the point of trying to kill him still kawaki you feel me so kawaki's character definitely has a lot more ways to go especially we understand he has to go through the design and outfit change and we got to go through the events that we've seen in the first chapter and first episode right now we might get a little mini scruffle between the two 
one. I'm hoping Boruto puts his face in the dirt worse than what the claw grime did him. He has the audacity to call my man Uchiha adoptee. Like, you're not out here just being butt buddies with the portrait of Naruto Uzumaki and every other day, you know what I'm saying? Just stalking the man. Like, come on, bro. You was born to be a wannabe Uzumaki. Like, let's not play games right here. My 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 guy Boruto's doing the same thing you do, but he's making it look cool. You're making it look obsessive. That's the difference between y'all two, right? But all in all, with all of these things going down, chapter three was a gem. Beautiful. 10 out of 10. Kash and Koji's return is very important because now we see Boruto using these toads. First of all, outsmarting code all throughout the entire chapter, but he attached a toad to code. And we understand these are the exact same type of code toads that Kash and Koji use. Who is Boruto talk? I said it was Kash and Koji that he's talking to. And like I said, if they bring back Kash and Koji in this way, this will be the grandiose way I thought of or conceived of because I'm thinking like, it's gonna be hard to make it not underwhelming when they make Akash and Koji return. But if this was the type of way, you know what I'm saying, the clone of Naruto's master is teaching Naruto's son, beautiful poetic justice right there, especially the way that things are playing out in its own way. I'm already rocking with it, so I'm excited. I would be a little bit disappointed, just a little bit, if it turns out that Boruto is just talking to a toad that he probably summoned or, you know, he summoned these toads and they kind of have like its own personalities, like how we know with Ma and Pa when it comes to them talking with Jiraiya and using Jiraiya and things of that nature. I really hope it's using a toad, Boruto in this case, is using it as a transmitter. And through that way, he's probably talking to Kash and Koji. I wouldn't mind it to be Sasuke. I really hope and I really think it's Kash and Koji, but I have more to break down in regards like each separate thing, whether it be like, you know, Boruto's Uzuhiko Rasengan, how strong he is currently, Colt's L's, Kawaki's approach to Boruto, their confrontation possibly next chapter, but also the, 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 you know what I'm saying, the current stance of both, not just Sasuke now, but also Kash and Koji, where are they and what did Boruto do over the actual time skip? It's your boy Black Shout 3, Boruto 2, Blue Vortex Chapter 3 was straight flames, fuegos, fire, rocking with it every day, every day. Let me know what y'all think. Let me know y'all thoughts on the comments on the video below. And until my next video, I'll holla at your boy. I'ma holla at y'all. Black chat out. Yes, sir. Ski. Hey, can we take a trip to the sky? Show them that our limits too high. Pop up on the hips on the wrist. She said.